I think if you look at John Carpenter, the creator of They Live, if you look at his movie making history, which includes Satanism and, and, and horror and what have you, this guy um, has at least some knowledge of what's happening. And I, I had to laugh. Um, I said this in a book once, years ago, and someone wrote to John Carpenter saying what I'd said. And um, he wrote back to him, I saw the letter, saying, no, um, the, the, uh, it wasn't. The, um, the, the aliens, you know, in, inside the people, um, I, I, I was um, symbolizing the uh, Republicans. And you go, yeah, John, all right. Yeah, okay, you were, yeah. I mean, I mean anyone who's seen They Live will laugh at that. Um, and I, I think, you, you know, if you look at um, They Live, it's classic. Uh, and, and that time back too, where you have a small number of people who are actually um, not what they seem. They look human to people of everyday life, but when the guy put the sunglasses on that allowed him to decode reality on another level, that was the symbolism of it, he saw that they actually, behind the human form, they weren't human at all and they were the people in power. They were the bankers, they were the politicians, they were the president, they were some of the police. Uh, and um, also, when he put the glasses on, uh, on that subliminal level, he could see all the subliminal messages um, all around him, um, telling him to, to stay asleep, to not question, to obey authority, and it was, a, a, a movie, it was kind of a B movie, wasn't it? A kind of, lot, most people were never have heard of. And yet, it was way ahead of its time in portraying the world that we're actually living in.